Hey everyone, it's John from Evolve. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Today we want to talk a little bit about panel gap on Teslas and body fit. Uh, it's a common issue with Teslas. So let's look a little bit and try to understand what is this, why does it happen, and how do you correct it. So we're looking at a brand new uh, Tesla Model X Plaid and untouched vehicle. And we'll take a quick look at some of the body fit on this one as an example. So if we take a look here, we'll see that we've got an interesting panel gap here. And if you watch from where my finger is right now, if we run down, we'll see we got about a two millimeter, maybe two and a half millimeter gap. And as we go towards the front of the car, it widens to maybe four, even five millimeter gap. So we would call that a V gap. And what we should see is maybe something uh, the opposite of that or an A gap on the other side. So let's take a look. But as we see, a pretty bad fit here. We've got a pretty wide gap here where the bumper meets the hood. And that's, oh, that's probably seven, maybe even eight, nine millimeter gap. So as we come across, we can take a look at the other side of the vehicle. Here, we'll see this is an over flush issue. So we've got a very tight gap compared to the other side. This may be four millimeters as compared to the nine. And we actually have an over flush issue here where this panel is higher than this panel. So not flush. Tight here to the headlight and widens. And then if we look at this fender, we've got a very strange gap. So wide here, maybe three, four, uh, back to probably less than two at this point. We also have the same issue here with an over flush fit on the hood. And from this angle, you can see hood up, fender down. If we walk back here, one of the telltale signs is how does the panel fit to the panel that doesn't move on the car? So let's look at how do you body fit? Well, here's the important thing. Some panels on cars are adjustable. Other panels aren't. So where do you start? You always have to start from the panel that doesn't move. If we're looking at this Model X, we'd say what panels actually move? Here's a clue, the ones that you can take off with bolts. So on this vehicle, this panel moves, the fender. This panel moves, the hood, it's attached at the hinges. This panel here is removable and moves. It's got bolts, the front bumper cover. This panel here moves, it's the door. It has hinges it's, and you can make some adjustments. But this panel right here, the roof rail or the A pillar does not move. This panel is welded onto the vehicle. So we always wanna start by thinking about what panels on the vehicle don't move. Well, here's one. Where else on a Model X is a panel that doesn't move? If we go back, well, here's the Falcon wing door. It moves, and in fact, it has seven different adjustment points. But if we go back here, here's a lift gate. Does this move? Yep, it moves. But what about this one? This is the quarter panel. Does this panel move? No, this panel does not move. So, so on a Model X, from what we can see here, we've got two panels that don't move. The quarter panel and that A pillar or roof rail up there. So if you're gonna body fit, we've gotta always start with the panel that does not move and the adjustable panels are then fit to that. So if you really wanted to fit this Model X properly, I mean properly to make it look great, can you do it? Of course you can do it. But you'd have to start right here to go, all right, step one, let's go to the adjacent panel and let's get that gap right. Here we've got pretty decent fit on the Falcon wing door to the quarter panel. It's a roughly three and a half millimeter gap all the way up. So gap's pretty good. Uh, might be able to move back this way a little bit here. The second issue is flush. And does the panel sit outside of the non-movable panel? Here, flush is pretty good. If you look closely enough, you'll see it's not perfect but this is a Falcon wing door. So seven adjustment points and no other vehicle really like it that has this kind of adjustment. If you get this panel right, then you'd have to come forward to the door and say, can I get this panel right? And if I look here, 
I've got a pretty consistent gap all the way up through. Uh, I also have a pretty consistent flush from panel to panel. Here's a good clue on, a, on an ultra red X is, boy, do these door handles line up. There's also adjustments, by the way, for gap flush uh, and fitment of door handles uh, inside here. If I take a look up further, I start to see some funky panel gaps here, very tight and wide. So this is, I've got another V gap right here. Could it be adjusted? Certainly. But you've got to understand the compromise when you start to adjust a panel like this where you have weather strips. So there's a weather strip here along the edge of this panel. If you start to mess too much, the compromise is wind noise. So no easy task to body fit. But let's go forward and take a look at the body fit issue here. If we think the quarter, if we think, sorry, the falcon wing door fits the quarter, cool. And then if we think the door fits the falcon wing, cool. Let's go to the fender and say, does the fender fit the door? Well, if we look down here, we're probably less than two millimeter gap here. And it works its way up to, oh, roughly two and a half or three millimeter gap. And so again, we've got what you would call a V gap, wider at the top, narrow at the bottom. Could you adjust this? Certainly could. But now we come back to the panel that doesn't move, right? And so the front end by far on this vehicle is the worst gap issue, we, as we saw here, this big gap. So let's take a look at the A pillar and the fitment of the hood and the fender and try to understand. What do you got to do to make this one fit? Let's take a look. All right, I can't move this panel. I can move this one and I can move this one. If I take a look, what's going on here? Okay, my, it's a little wider here. It's a little tight here. It's wide here. It's tight here. So we know for sure, because I can't move this one, if I want to get this line right, this fender's got to come up to close this gap. If I'm going to move this hood, this hood also has to come up. If I look at this line and draw a straight line across, you could see it would really be here. But at the same time, I've got a flush issue with the hood to this fixed panel. So I can't really come up too much. What else could I do? I might be able to send this corner backward. I might be able to move this forward, maybe. But then what happens to this gap as we go forward? So here's, here's a clue about what you need to do to, to get this vehicle right. We'll take a look at the other side. But this overflush, fine. Uh, we, we can probably make a correction, but the, the gap is not as bad as this gap. Let's look on this side. And I've got a similar condition. Gap's pretty good. It's a little under flush here, a little over flush here, but a pretty decent gap. So what does that mean? It means what's out of place? Is the hood out of place or is the fender out of place? And so if you think about it, because this panel's fixed, this gap here is as good as it can get, maybe could get a little bit better. It's not the hood that's the problem where most people would now go to start to adjust this hood. The hood's just the symptom. The issue is the front end of this vehicle. So let's take a look. Okay, so if we look and we say this hood is in the right place based on those panel gaps back there at the A pillar, then what's the issue? You can see it's not the, if it's not the hood, it's the entire front end of this vehicle that needs to be moved. This big gap, this small gap. So here's what needs to happen. The fender, the bumper cover, and the other fender as an assembly all need to be removed and shifted over that direction so that they begin to fit the hood. Because if I just try to move the hood, this gap is just going to walk and walk and walk and walk and walk around the car. That's typically what happens in shops or if you try to do it yourself, you're just starting with the wrong panel. And ultimately, they adjust every single panel on the car and the whole car looks worse than it was. So. The trick to understanding good body fit and panel gap is where are the fixed panels on the vehicle? You always have to start there and then make your decisions about how to straighten this out. So on this vehicle, we'll take this one apart and we'll make these corrections to get this front end to fit. Maybe we'll show that in another uh, YouTube clip if you want to see how it works. But 
quite extensive, probably going to have four, five, maybe even six hours of work into it uh, to get the, the panel gap right on this vehicle. So that's a quick summary of a pretty complex process of body fit, especially on Tesla, especially on Model X. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions on body fit or anything about Tesla or any EV, please leave a comment below and we'll address all those questions on our monthly podcast. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching.